Hi, my name's Joe and I am going to be demonstrating the Next Screen Instant Drug Testing product today. And I have my donor, Char. Welcome, Char. Hello, Joe. We're going to talk about the Next Screen Instant Drug Testing product, go through some instructions on the collection of urine and uh, reading the result. And in some cases, the result might be inconclusive. And in those cases, we are going to package up the specimen and send it out to the lab for confirmation testing. So again, this is the instant neck screen cup with urine for a drug test. We have a uh, neck screen donor consent and label form for those of you that might be doing the collection electronically on your computer. You can also use a manual paper form if you're not using electronic. And we also have a custody and control form. If you're not doing electronic, you would fill out a custody and control form for when the specimen has to go to the lab for confirmation testing. So with that, we're going to start a demonstration of the collection process. We start out, welcome Char. Welcome, thank you Joe. So Appreciate we're here for your drug screen collection. And the first thing we need to do is check your ID. Absolutely. Okay. I'll hand you my ID. All right. Very good. I'll put that right here on the table. And then we need you to um, uh, empty your pockets. You don't have any. And if you <laughs> had any outer garments, hat or sweatshirt or sweater or anything, we'd ask you to, to take that off. Uh, we're going to have uh, this sealed next screen instant drug test product. We're going to open this up. And when we go to the restroom, we will have you wash your hands before you go into the restroom. Okay. So let me just open up this product. Uh, I am going to record uh, from this product on the outside packaging uh, the lot number. And I'm either going to put that on my paper form manually or type it into my computer if I'm doing an electronic collection, as well as the expiration date. The expiration date is uh, December of 2023 so we're good there if you want to double check that with thank me thank you okay so we have our, our next screen cup and we're gonna when we go to the restroom we're going to have you fill it up to this fill line here okay after you wash your hands I'll I'll give you this cup you'll provide a urine specimen you won't wash your hands until we're all done you won't flush the toilet as soon as you have the urine specimen you'll bring it out to me and we'll get it ready to set up for, um, to read the results, as well as to uh, send it off to the lab if it is inconclusive. Okay. If it's negative, we're, we're, we'll be good to go. Okay, so before we do a urine collection, it's important that we secure our restroom, which we've gotten secure, and I always, I'm gonna check it out before I bring my donor into the restroom. I've got my toilet tank secure so that Water can't be grabbed from the toilet tank. I have bluing that I've put into the toilet. I've got my sink dispenser and the running water secured. I've got my soap dispenser secured. We basically want to make sure that there's nothing here that the donor can use to tamper with their specimen. So we got a we got a good setup here. We've removed garbage pails and, and soap products and things like that. And now we have a good secure restroom for a urine collection. Okay, sure. So here's the collection cup that, that you um, picked. You're going to be going into a secure restroom. The water sources are secure. Um, there's, there's nothing in there that you can use to tamper with the product. I need you to give me a specimen up to uh, this fill line right here, or more is fine. Um, put the lid on it. Um, actually, just bring it out. I'll put the lid on it when you come out. Uh, don't wash your hands. You can do that afterwards. And um, for any reason you can't go, come on out, we'll give you some water. But hopefully, go ahead and give me up to the fill line. Okay. okay. Thank you. The restroom is secure. So I'm going to go ahead and close the door for you, Char. How'd you do? Did well. All righty. Let's go ahead and close that up. Keep an eye on this, your specimen. Temperature real quick, and go ahead and step out and just keep an eye on this. I am going to just check the restroom before we leave to make sure that it is still secure, which it is. So we're good to go. We'll walk back over to our work area and we'll finish the process. 
Okay, Char, so we have your urine specimen here. Thank you for that. Um, I did check the temperature. It is in range between 90 and 100. That's the first thing I always do when you hand me the cup. Uh, we do have plenty of volume, so that's good. It's above the fill line, and the color does look good. And so it takes about five minutes for me to read this result, and then we'll find out if it's inconclusive and has to go out to the laboratory, or we'll know if the testing is complete. Um, so let's uh, have you just go out in the waiting room and wait for five minutes, and I'll come and get you when we're, we're ready to move forward. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Five minutes later. Okay, Char, <laughs> welcome back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull off this tab to read your drug test result. And um, everything looks good, and we're not going to have to send this off to the lab for confirmation testing. Everything's going to be good to go. Let me just get some some information for you. I am going to go ahead and seal up your specimen uh, before I discard it, just so we, we know that this is yours. And we're using uh, what's called a donor consent and label form with electronic collection. And that seal will go over the cup, uh, not to cover up any of the results. Okay. And uh, you're going to go ahead and initial this. And I'm going to go ahead and date it. Okay. And there is a unique specimen ID number that is on here. That's the same number that's on the top of this form. And you're going to get a copy of this. Okay. And it's the same number that I've input into my system. Okay. If we weren't doing electronic collection, I would use a paper form. Okay. And I would use the seal off of this paper form instead of the electronic version. So okay. there's two different versions of doing the collection. You can do the what we call the um, electronic custody and control form, which is what we did here, or a paper form. And in that case, this particular label would be used. We would put it over the cup like we did on the first one, and you would initial it and, and seal it pretty much the same. And I would date it. So with that, um, let me just have you um, Sign, print your name and sign your name at the very bottom there. Okay. And we are going to give you this top section, which is a receipt for your test. It's got your unique donor ID on here. I mean, your unique, unique specimen ID number. It's also got a phone number for any questions that you may have. Really won't be any questions because your test was negative All right. and uh, your employer will be ready to, to put you to work. So All thank right. you very much. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. So in this scenario, we're going to demonstrate with the test being inconclusive and it's going to need to go out to the lab for confirmation testing. So Char, thank you for providing the specimen. I did check the temperature. It is within temperature range between 90 and 100. Okay, you do, you do have enough urine and it is the right color, okay? What I am gonna do is uh, I'm gonna seal this up in your presence. And I'm going to have you initial that that is your specimen. All right. And I am going to date that. And I am going to have you sign, um, and you can see there's, there's a unique specimen ID number that's on the, the label, okay? And there's okay. the same unique specimen ID number. And then I'm going to have you sign and print your name. Okay. Okay. And it's going to take about five minutes to uh, get the results from, from this test. Uh, I'm going to have you go in the waiting room and then I'll have you come back when we, when we need to see if we need to go any further. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Five minutes later. Okay, Char. So um, you're back and I have the results of your test. And um, 
unfortunately this test is inconclusive and it is going to have to go out to the laboratory for confirmation testing to be absolutely sure of what your final result is. So we've already got it sealed up. Okay, I'm going to um, go ahead and put it in a bag for shipment to the laboratory. Put it in the front pouch with the white absorbent material. And typically, I'm going to do an electronic custody and control form and print that out of my computer. Or I may have done a manual paper custody and control form. And we have this all filled out. There's five steps. We follow them. We fill out the five steps. And then I would put this into the bag. I would either, I would either print out my lab copy on my electronic custody and control form or if I'm using a paper form, I would put this into the bag for shipment to the laboratory. With my barcode facing out so it can be scanned in the laboratory. And these big cups don't like the paper. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go ahead and seal that up right on these railroad tracks right here. And your supplies that come with your product will include an air bill and a FedEx bag to drop everything in. You can put as many specimens as you have all in the one FedEx pack. You don't need to send one at a time. So if you did five collections today, you can put all five in there, put your air bill on there, and then you would either call FedEx or drop this off at FedEx to get this sent to the lab. So Char, we're going to send that out to the lab and then we're going to get a final result back from you and we are going to give you a copy of either the custody and control form if we're using a paper form. There is a donor copy, there's five copies. Copy five is the donor copy. If you're on any medications, you can list those on the back for your own reference. If we did use the electronic custody and control form in our computer, we're going to give you this receipt as a record. It's got your specimen ID number. Mm -hmm. It's got a phone number to call if you have any questions. And you can list any medications that you might be on on the back of the test. And your employer will get your results back in a couple of days. Okay. Thank you, Joe. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. So just wrapping up with the instant urine specimen collection. It's important to be able to read the results. So you can see on the screen what you'll see as far as the interpretation of the results. There's a control line, that's where the letter C is. And that means the device is working when you see a red line next to the C line. That means the device is working, it's a quality control. Then you'll see each drug listed that's being tested for. And if you see a red line, next to that drug, it's negative. If you see no line, it's non-negative or inconclusive. If you see a faint red line, it's still negative. So any indication of a red line is a negative, and a white space, no line, is inconclusive or non-negative. If you don't have a red line next to the C, the control, means the testing is invalid and you would want to use another testing device or if it's a urine specimen, just send it in to the lab for confirmation testing. So that wraps up our training for next screen. You can see the phone number to call if you have any questions or issues. Just call the number you see on the screen and representatives will be happy to help you.